Hi everyone. This video we are going to see how part the solution design diagram will look like in real life. STD is most important part in our pain or any other software components. So here Studio of the is more different and more detailed process and in real time the very Solution design document must be signed off from your client. Because this is the human between client and service provider after the discovery phase the first trip ever created database is the How the high level solution will look like how previous system or manual system is working how would be the to be process or automated process will look like how disaster recovery will be handled how process high level looks like high level technical descriptions high level functional high level roles and their responses so the all the details in the study ok let's see how all the 
think I will show you. This is the online booking tool company. This is their process. Book the travel. This is their solution design. So usually solution designs will be handled by technical architect. Technical art or tetra will be designed the solution design document. Tetra will coordinate with business analyst and the end to end process must be known to business analyst or business process analyst. So some of the areas business process analyst will take care or will completely take care of those two. Some of the process solution architect or technical architect will take care of the STD process. And it must be signed up from client before starting the day or before starting the analysis. Yeah. Here, here they have to mention person and what is the date and all. This looks like. Tell me how it looks like. See here you can see person or the, this kind of thing, the formal things. What would be the approval to create and create the approval and the feedback date, everything will be. Second page person history. This is the format how STD will look like in RPA. The third thing is how table of contents. What are the contents will be available? The first thing is executive summary. It will be the content of how high level. RPA business and solution process will look like. And the second thing is how operation will be had take over by team. And the third thing is how complexity of the automated RPA process. The fourth is how the scope of automation. The scope of automation already discovered in discovery stage. But here, how the implementation will be happen? What will be the scope? What will be the out of scope? Suppose, so the travel agent, they are planning to take, book the ticket of booking bus, booking car, or else booking flight. So, this is their scope. But what is out of scope? They don't want to book hotel for the who they who they are want to book the customers. Suppose if you take the travel uh, yatra or some of the bookings, they are arranging hotel as well. But here the out of scope, they, this travel agent does not consider about 
how the customer has to stay and up. So the only scope is they want to book the bus, flight or train for the scope. Then robotic automation requirement, how the requirements will be, how, what are the functional requirements, non-functional re requirements. Here you, if you, if you talk about functional requirements, What are the functions? It means if you are using automation and other, how credentials are stored, credential functions, how the email functionals will work on, so that kind of, if you have blue prism, then how the process handled, what are the load balancing, and what are the resource pools, how the scheduling, these kind of functional requirements, both development and deployment functional requirements will be available here. And what would be the success criteria? They are they are only the booking travel. Once book, uh, booking completed, they update the travel request and they send the mail and message to user. And here you have to mention what are the target applications for the particular STD. It means travel side, traveler, yes, they must be, the travel information must be stored in database and Excel file and the web service or SOAP web service or CTP web service, whatever the web service you used. So these are the target applications. Suppose you are using some other target application, that as well, it has to include here target application. And how the information will be secure here based on the client request. This is the secure. And here nine, how the business continue to plan on disaster recovery plan. Suppose you are um, uh, control room or else uh, your server or side part or your, or your application server or database server. If you are in Delhi, if any disaster happen in Delhi, any problem happen in Delhi or any pollution, high level pollution will happen in Delhi. How the next plan it will be Noida or it will be Mumbai or how it will be looks like. So that type of business continuity and disaster recovery plans will be made sure here. So this is the thing you have to the study will be make sure here. And what are all the risks? Before that, what are the risks will be happened? Uh, maybe some risk. Uh, uh, it means uh, when booking travel, some server related or server load balance risk. So we have to capture the risk. And what is the mitigation will be happen? What are the mitigation you have to do for that? That will be uh, captured here. And how this testing will be captured? How the your credential? will be maintained. It means how bought password or change password or a credential wallet or credential manager, how you can handle this. <coughs> this, sorry, this type of things will be handled credential management. Mm, yeah, what I need to is before going to going to deep planning to make next video for high level STD Thanks guys, we will see next video how it will look place. Yeah.